Got my monster. All right, let's get started with the video. What up, fellas? It's your boy, Johnny, and today I'm gonna be talking about all the accessories I own in my own accessory collection. You know, accessories are a huge part of my personal style, and they really are items that can really separate you from other people, and is, in my opinion, necessary to compose those super clean outfits. So, my accessories range from jewelry, to fanny packs, to bandanas, caps, all that stuff. I'm gonna link as many pieces as I can in the description below, so if you guys wanna cop anything, check the description. But before we get into it, I just wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Rose Gold and Black. I do wear most of my accessories from Rose Gold and Black, so I just want to get started with them. Rose Gold and Black is an online company that sells super clean jewelry from your bracelets to your necklaces to rings, watches, and all that. I personally had Rose Gold and Black accessories for a long time even before they sponsored this channel. Especially if you're new to getting into accessories, I think Rose Gold and Black is a great place to start. If you guys click the link in the description, it's going to take you to a landing page where all the prices are already discounted. So you're already going to save a ton of money instead of going to the main page. And also, if you check out a certain time, they sometimes have these flash sales where you can get an additional percentage off. I know Black Friday is going to be coming up, so you guys want to check the website as well if you're watching this in the future. But yeah, Rose Gold and Black is one of my favorite places to go. Once again, click the link in the description. It's going to really support your boy. I don't make any commission off of it, but if you guys do make a purchase, it's really gonna help your boy out. And you're gonna look fly as well. So let's break down these accessories. So these ones are the beaded bracelets. I really like these because they're micro adjustable. You know, they can fit any size wrist, small, large. And they also have a super clean look. This has like a red hue to it. Color blocks really well with like all of bombers and all that. They also have these white ones, this wooden looking one. And they also have these black ones as well. Really like these bracelets. They also have the elastic ones where you just throw it on your wrist. But yeah, beaded bracelets. I cannot leave the house with at least one of these on my wrist. Next bracelet we got is this monk bracelet. I don't know where I got this from. I got this when I was like, man, probably a freshman in college. I don't really wear this anymore anyways because it's stretched out and you know, it doesn't look too right anymore. So yeah, this beaded bracelet, probably gonna retire it, but it still looks really good. These two bracelets are from Aldo. My girlfriend got it for me actually on my birthday last year. Super clean pieces, super elastic as well. Easy to throw on black with a little bit of black with a little bit of texture. No matter what colorway you get, no matter which brand you get it from, beaded bracelets are the shit. They're my favorite piece of accessory. These two beaded bracelets come from White Sands, New Mexico. I know I, I've gotten a lot of questions about these. These are from local gift shops. I'm not opposed to getting accessories online or in person, but my favorite places to go are local gift shops. They sell a lot of great pieces. A lot of you guys are missing out on that as well. Man, gift shops, merchandise stores, museums, always sell dope pieces. Anywhere you see an accessory, do not be opposed to copying it just because it's not from like, I don't know, if it's not like some hype piece, doesn't matter, man. If it just looks good, definitely cop it. And you, you can get a cheaper price on it as well. Next wrist accessory, is a cuff. This one comes, oh, let me get the watch as well. Is These come from Daniel Wellington. I know I know what you guys think of Daniel Wellington, okay? I'm not a watch guy. This is the only watch I have. I have purchased from other watch brands before, like Movement, and I lost the watch. The thing is with these fast fashion watches, they get a lot of people into watches, okay? You know, there's you can't deny that. But I do know the, the controversy between these brands, okay? So if you guys aren't opposed to these watches, well, then you can just look online, search for a steel cuff or something like that. And then you can just get like a Timex Weekender. Timex Weekender, a G-Shock, you know, Seiko watches. I like all those brands. I just, I'm just not a watch guy, you know? I wear this cuff a lot, you know? You don't have to get a Daniel Wellington cuff. Yeah, so just look online. Maybe you find some cool pieces. Still sticking with the hand, let's talk about these rings. So these silver rings come from Amazon. This is a Dragon Talon ring. And then these are the Angel Wing rings. That's really hard to say. Angel Wing rings. Silver accessories look great, especially rings. I'm not, I'm not too fond of gold rings anymore. I used to be about it even though my skin tone is more of a warm skin tone so to complement my skin tone it leans more towards gold but you know i can wear both silver accessories are nice especially rings in my opinion two favorite rings right here you can get whatever design you want just look it up i got these on amazon if you like a, a wolf ring you know look that up skull ring whatever you guys like these three rings also come from amazon as well i'm not too fond of paying super expensive prices on rings but if you have some money to splurge why not you know but these are just stainless steel rings because i'm allergic to nickel but yeah gold Silver, black. I like to wear the gold ones when I'm more dressed nicer, dapper, I guess. It just has a nice, simple, minimalistic, formal look. And then the silver ring's nice, and then black ring, eh, I don't really wear it that much. But yeah, I think that's all the wrist accessories. Let's move on to towards the head. So, starting with the necklaces, this is a rose gold and black grenade ring. These look super nice as well. This is actually one of the first necklaces I got when I got into fashion. Otherwise, I was wearing just gold chains in general, and a gold chain with a boot on it when I was a Buddhist back then, or this rose gold accessory 
accessory looks really nice, especially if you're warmer skin tone, like I said earlier, which means you're a little bit darker skin. If you're more pale and you might wanna stick with silver, then I got this gold chain right here and then this, uh, this pendant that goes along with it, it's from gold or GLD. This is unique, you know, this is a yin yang. And it's a little bit loud, you know, I don't really wear it that much, so I take it off and just wear this on its own. But sometimes I wear it whenever I'm feeling like it, you know? Maybe for a video. Then we got some more rose gold and black pieces as well. This is a super nice piece. It's got this uh, lava stone pendant down here and a rose gold chain. You can wear it with the pendant, you can take off the pendant and you have a rose gold chain. This one is their suede necklace with the feather, rose gold, with the rose gold feather. Man, I can't talk, it's six, what time is it? It's 6.55, man, in the morning. You know, the hour change, ugh. Um, but yeah, this is a rose gold feather necklace. I like to wear it for a more minimalistic outfit, so I let this piece stand out. This accessory comes from White Sands, like I said earlier, for the, for the bracelets. It's a silver chain with a, I guess, if if you were talking to Hank Schrader, he would call these minerals. It looks like rockstone pendant. It looks really nice as well. I don't really wear this too much. Good to switch it up from your typical gold pendants and rose gold pendants. Unique design. Unique pendants. Last necklace I got is this angel wing necklace. You know, this is from Rose Gold and Black. I'm just not fond of black jewelry. But it does look really nice for certain people. I'll wear it occasionally, maybe with an all black outfit. Who knows? These are shades. These come from Jade Black. You know, I've always purchased super cheap sunglasses from like H&M, Zara. Uh, I've purchased from Walmart before, but I know there's a saying with quality. You can't really tell what quality is, but if you hear the sound of these and how these are how these are made, you can just tell like the difference. Well, this is from this is from Jade Black as well. But you can tell it's made from like a high quality acid. I had these other H&M ones that I threw away because they're just low quality, the springs get super loose, and you just hear it, it rattles, it scratches easily. I don't know, but yeah, these are from Jade Black. These are polarized sunglasses. I've worked with them before. This is the tortoiseshell frame. Yeah, these are one of my favorite shades to wear right now. These are the Club Masters from them as well. I don't know, Club Masters look good on most guys. So if you're gonna purchase your first pair of shades, I definitely recommend the Club Masters. Next up is an accessory for the, the waist area. So this is a tactical carabiner that I got on Amazon. You know, I got this one that came with it as well from Amazon. This is a titanium with a gold accent. This is a silver with a gunmetal accent. Clip this to my waist to add a little bit of depth and texture to my outfit, you know. I used to have a White Sands little accessory that I attached to it, but it ripped off. I don't know, I like weird accessories like that. But yeah, then here comes my pendants. I have more, but they're all upstairs. I like to attach these to my tactical belt or onto my sling bag, whatever you guys call it. This is a New Mexico Balloon Fiesta one that I got from the, the last Balloon Fiesta from, this is a I Love New York one, because I lived in New York for the past four years, favorite city in the world. These accessories are pieces that people don't wear at all. You know, I don't see it that often. I like to attach it on little things. This represents who I am. You know, I'm from New Mexico, um, lived in New York for four years. Keep your accessories tailored to you, who you are as a person, what you like, you know, instead of getting hype. But not to say that if if it's not hype, you shouldn't try it out. You should cop something because you want to try it out instead of copying it solely for the hype or that'll impress people, you know? I'm, ne I'm never about that. Yo, so I can't believe I forgot like the most poor accessory, or at least for me, and that is a tactical belt. So this comes from Amazon as well. Tactical belts are a lot easier to use than your standard regular belt. And they also have a nice look to it. It's very urban-esque, and I also like to use this to wrap around my shoulder for more of a, a tech, military-inspired look. If you got the money, you can go to Alix, and they have like a $300 belt, super high quality. Like, if you're spending $300 on a belt, good for you, but I ain't got that bread, so I'm gonna stick to Amazon. You can tuck your shirt inside your waist so you can show off the belt, or you can just let it extend a little bit. And also, I like putting my pins on it just to add to the look as well. Honestly, just keep it simple. I like to stick with the black ones, or you can get a light gray one to add a little bit of a contrast to your pants and your outfit. Tactical belts, definitely cop one of these. One of the best accessories out there. But yeah, next waist piece I got is this belt chain. Adds a little bit of texture. I don't know, belt chains are pretty slept on for a lot of people. It's a great way to stand out. I usually stick to silver as well, gold chains. Rose gold chains, black chains, I don't know, it's a little bit much. You've definitely seen it everywhere from bikers, you know, all, all these people wearing it, punk rock ages and all that. Got this on Amazon, super cheap. And it also has a little ring attached to it so I can clip my keys onto it or I can add something else to it later on. But yeah, going more into it, this is a bandana which I typically attach to my waist or my arm. I wrap it around my belt loop, has a nice pattern. Next piece. I got is a dad hat. I'm not too big on hats because it's never looked good on me, but dad hats is the only one that's looked good on me. This one's from Amazon as well. If you haven't noticed a pattern, you know, I get a lot of my accessories from Amazon or World's Gold and Black. This would look great with tech wear outfits, you know, simple casual street wear outfits, or just, you know, lazy outfits. Cozy vibes, hoodies. This is a beanie that I got from Amazon as well. Orange, dark mustard colorway. 
um, adds a nice little pop onto your outfit. You can cuff it like a fisherman, you know, like that, or you can wear it, you know, like your, your skaters, you know, that have it sagging and shit. Now let's talk about the sling bags that I have. This is a Herschel sling bag. I don't really wear this too much um, just because I got other ones as well, but this is a nice start. It was pretty cheap, got it on Amazon as well. Really pops on the outfit because it'll contrast really well with it. I don't know why people hate on fanny packs because they're actually functional. They hold your stuff, especially when you're traveling, you don't want to carry a backpack, but you also don't want your shit stolen. Fanny pack, man, I don't know why people hate on these. Next up is a tactical bag that you can get from Amazon. Frugal Aesthetic actually gave this to me back in the day. It's definitely way different than that Herschel bag. That Herschel bag is more minimalistic. This is very tactical and military inspired. One of my favorite pieces, super cheap as well. Typically, I like to attach a pin onto my fanny packs just to add a little bit of depth. But yeah, the tactical bag, one of the best fanny packs out there. And this is the last accessory. Oh no, this necklace also comes from White Sands. At least the pendant does. Now, I get questions all the time. Yeah, I got it from White Sands. It was like $11. And then the gold chain is just a, a simple gold chain. But yeah, this last accessory is from Orbit Gear. Definitely a highly recommended site for me when it comes to an urban military tactical inspired gear. I usually typically wear it where with the fanny pack on my back. What the fuck, man? All right, I can't wear this. <laughs> yeah, I usually wear it with the, with the fanny pack on my back and have the straps facing up front just because it adds some nice depth to your outfit, you know, straps and all that. It's not really functional though. There's a difference between function and aesthetics. This is purely aesthetics driven, except for everything else. You know, there, there's these elastic straps, buckles and all that. And then there's the actual fanny pack itself. But yeah, if you want a nice fanny pack, shoulder bag, sling bag, whatever you want to call it, That'll make you stand out. Definitely recommend Orbit Gear. It's got the olive, gray, and black color blocking. Super nice colors that'll complement your outfit. But yeah, man, that's that's all the accessories I got. And at least most of them. Otherwise, the rest is just scattered throughout the house and I can't find it. Sorry. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot, crew socks as well. I don't know if you guys consider it an accessory, but it does add a little bit of texture and depth to your outfit. But yeah, like I said earlier, accessories, jewelries are a big part of my personal style really helps you stand out and really make your style your style. Let's just say a bowl of fuzz, your outfit. The accessories are like the little toppings, you know, your sriracha, hoisin sauce, basil, lime, jalapenos, bean sprouts and all that. And it really makes the bowl of pho a lot tastier. You know, when it comes to your, your personal car, you don't want your car to look like everyone else if you guys are into cars, you know. So for me, I switched out the, the shift knob. I tinted the tail lights, tinted my windows, switched it to LED headlights. You know, it's little things like that will make your, your car stand out just like accessories will make your personal outfit stand out. But yeah, those are my accessories, whether you guys cop it from Amazon or Rose Gold and Black. If you like it, cop it. Do not cop pieces for the hype or it's gonna get girls. You know, if you like it, you like it. You know, that's, that's really what makes your style your style, not dressing for other people, okay? You don't let other people dictate your style, okay? All right, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram for some weird pictures. Give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. What's your favorite accessory? Leave a comment down below. If I were to pick, it would definitely be bracelets. I cannot walk out of the house without a bracelet on my wrist. But yeah, until then, stay fly, stay animosity free, and I'm out, bruh. Peace. Drink some monster before, and you wake up.